What is up? What is going on, people? David, SBA baseball card collectors. Good day to go buying some blasters. So, there's a dollar store by my house, which I'll tell you one thing. You go into uh, the city, like Brooklyn, Manhattan, uh, more Brooklyn. I don't know, whatever. Brooklyn, Manhattan, in the boroughs in, of New York. And you go to a dollar store. You might have stuff that's a dollar, two, three dollars, and they don't have the best variety. You bring somebody from the city out to Long Island and show them a dollar store. I guess the rest of America, where they have like a dollar store, is like a big, huge store. Where you go to a dollar store in, in the boroughs, it's a much smaller store. It's like night and day. These people don't know what to do. There's so many different varieties, so many things that you could buy at the dollar store. It's insane. But I digress. So I went and got my napkins. So, and then, all, of course, I had to look to see if there's any baseball, basketball cards for a dollar, which even though I'll look, I won't buy because it's just ridiculous. You can't get anything. It's only the base cards. Um, but whatever, I, I, I still looked. They didn't have anything. So, went over to Target to get my daughter's LOL surprise nonsense. It's a ball. You open it up. It's a bunch of garbage that they char overcharge you for. And, the, and they like it. As I was walking past, I decided to get a Top Series 2. Why? I don't know. I'm a glutton for... Uh, base cards that I just get annoyed about that I may just end up throwing out. But instead of doing that, what did I do? I opened them up. And as I'm talking about it, I go, oh, man, I just wanted an SSP because the whole, all of them weren't that great. And I was doing it on Instagram Live, um, which was a terrible thing to do on a Target parking lot because there's people looking at you going, what is he doing? Why is he pointing these cards? A, why is he opening cards? He's an adult. B, why is he pointing that card at his phone? What an idiot. What is he, seven? And three, what's your Instagram handle? Let me hang out with you. I'm like the old, of course I'm the old guy. No one says Instagram handle. <laughs> what is your Instagram handle, uh, young sir? So, anyway, I get a Kikuchi SSP. I don't know how rare that is, but it seems rare enough. I've never gotten an SSP before. And looking up the comps, it was $34, so I was stoked about it. I might get it graded. And um, that was pretty cool, I thought. I never got one. So check it out, SBA BB Collectors on Instagram. Over there, you'll see the card. Um, yeah. So, I guys, I, I guys, I guys, I told you guys that I sold my 2010 Bauman Chrome Gary Sanchez autograph card. Now, I've been trying to pick these up previously and always on the lookout for them. Wow. There was a raw, a raw card, a raw dog in it, and it was one picture. Guys, what are you doing? If you're trying to sell a, a semi-high price card, over a hundred bucks, why would you take a picture at a dumb angle, like it's laying flat and he's taking a picture straight on? And that was it. That was the only picture of the card. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I lie. They do a picture of the back, which had a closer up version of the same exact picture. You know, the back of the card, but he took it the same way. I don't know. And it just wasn't overly a clear picture. But I could see the centering and I could see the corners on it. The guy had it in a one touch and it looked immaculate. It looked better than mine that I had in it as a PSA 10. I could tell, I could look at the centering and I was comparing it and I looked at it for a long time. I've been, I was following, I was watching it, I was waiting for it. And when it came along, it was, th those cards have been selling for like 130. Now they had a bunch of other cards that were there, but again, 
the centering is very difficult on these cards and even the surface there could be some issues and there still could be some issues on this card um, difficult for me to see so that aspect of it I was trying to see if there's any dots if there's any dots in it no bueno um, that's the only thing I really I couldn't see so I don't think it's there um, it's almost like a pen and now that I'm talking about it I feel like I'm like making it happen so I don't want to talk about it but because I didn't see it I, I didn't see I saw I, the surface looked great everything looked great they didn't take a great picture of it but I really studied it I really zoomed in I really I really slowed I took a lot of time into looking at this card and I was gonna get this card I was gonna overbid to get this card which I did now it was at 130 something now if this comes out to be a PSA 10 obviously you know it's gonna cost me what 10 bucks 14 bucks to uh, get the car great card graded and away we go even if it's a PSA 9 I'm gonna get my money back I, I, I haven't I, I'm pretty confident in that but if it's as good as I think it is because the centering looks amazing on both sides the corners look amazing the surface looks really good I can't tell a hundred percent but it does look really good I'm gonna try to go for a Beckett and a pristine 10 that's what I really want to go for um, because if I get that I think that'll be a lot of bank pro and but that's the only thing I don't know how you can because a 9.5 is nowhere near as much money as I would get as a PSA 10. And that, mean, that would mean I would have to crack it and re, you know, resend it to PSA, which I really don't want to do. I just want one time, that's it. And it's just a, a, a tough gamble. But like I said before, when you're looking at eBay cards, if you're rushing and you're thinking you're going to get a good deal, you're not. Unless you are, unless you've done your research already and you know all about the card, if you're just looking, of course, it cut out, and I don't know why. I think because I have too many of my recordings on my phone. I don't just stream straight to, um, and maybe I should because now I have an unlimited data plan. But whatever. So what I was saying was, you got the gist of the eBay and uh, making sure that whatever, but. I was looking at these guys, Brent Williams, his uh, Brent and Becca on uh, Twitter. Excellent resource I told you yesterday to go and learn about, you know, cases of cards and, um, you know, what he's been, as they're opening the cards up, what they're seeing, how many sets you think you can get, the whole nine yards. So I went to the eBay store. Holy, holy cow. Ton. They got so many cards and they are selling a ton. However, it must be a pain in the balls <laughs> because they're selling, maybe they sell 50 items a day, but the, you know, a lot of them are two bucks, three bucks, four bucks. It's like, ugh. Like, I saw someone on, the, on Flick Chat, I think it's Dave again. He posted that he sold, you know, cars on eBay, and he had a decent amount of sales for for 60 days. And he sold a ton. It was, I don't know, like 70, 80 sold, maybe something like that. I, I don't remember exactly, but it was something like that. Just to compare what I do, and I'm not comparing as in, ooh, look at me, I'm making so much money. I'm comparing it as the amount, and, and that's the only thing I do like about selling like electronics. I sold maybe 17 things in the past two months, and I have $1,900 in sales. I now have that one sale that's used it a bit because that's $1,000, but then I have 16 sales at a little bit over $900. Big difference. A lot less headache. Well, I wouldn't say a lot less headaches. Um, a lot less items to ship. Um, but it's not as fun. And I think it would be easier because now you just have a card 
you're putting it in, in a little bag and you're calling it anywhere. I got to wrap stuff up, put it in a box, make sure I have the box the same size. I have to carry all these boxes. And then everyone, I hear my wife saying, oh, we're going to get ants and termites because you have so many boxes. And I guess to shut up. You don't know what you're talking about. She goes, yes, I do. And then I go, you, you, why do you hate me so much? Sorry. So I don't know where I was going with that, but check those guys out. I've been plugging them. I'm trying to get him on the podcast. Maybe by doing this and plugging him, and, um, and I guess just crying like a baby. I guess this would be the best thing, you know. Please, begging, begging, which is uh, stupid. I don't know why I'm even begging. You know what? Do I, if you don't want to do the show, then don't worry about it. But I think that is a definitely a great source on Twitter. Um, another thing, I was horrifically wrong about Stadium Club. Those cards look beautiful. I went to uh, Jab's family uh, on YouTube and he opened up a box of cards and uh, also one of the breakers that I use, um, I think his name is JM Breaks, and just they will open up packs and these cards look amazing. The pictures that they have just look amazing. Um, again, I don't know much about resale value, um, but even the autographs look nice. They're on card. There's no stickers. It's 70, 80 bucks for a box and you get two autographs and they just look really nice. I- I'm sure they have the short print and SSP and the whole nine yards because that's tops does for everything. Um, but even the older guys that they have on there, uh, you know, the Hall of Famers and, and things like that, and just nice pictures just nice cards they look great they really do so i may end up buying a box or two of those um for uh for poops and giggles because i gotta keep it pg Ugh. i'm just not say it that's what i should be just not say it i think that would be better than what i just did Ugh. Anyway, I'm at my job, so you know what that means. SVA Baseball Card Collectors, that's the Facebook group, SVA BB Collectors on Flick Chat, SVA BB Collectors, Instagram, Twitter, also on YouTube. I got a decent amount of fans on YouTube, and I need to post more videos. Um, yeah, guys, that's it. Talk to you guys tomorrow. Buy some cards and go broke. Later.